Hello everyone to some gameplay of New Stars, let's play. So, let's go over the play modes real quick. So, we have Mega Corporation. This screen may be overwhelming at first, so I'm going to explain everything simply. Uh, basically, this is a business. You can set up businesses and build on other worlds, basically. Uh, peacekeeping pacifist, you can stop fleets from passing uh, in and out systems when they're in a war, but you have to be neutral with them. And they have modifiers uh, with for occupying, and uh, but they have 50% amenities, oh. you can see here. Uh, so this mega corporation focuses on trade, and the pacifist focuses on being peaceful, which has its advantages maybe. Lance Builder, basically this allows you to just build uh, unions which are more powerful alliances and you get the more friendly unions I suppose you can call them which you can invite star clans to as well which we'll see later on um, so we have cooperative militarist as well which is basically allows um, you to build union fleets which is a a military union basically it's similar to the alliance builder so if you want to build like a federation fleet kind of thing then that's the thing for you hegemonic subjugator so this is a uh, basically with star clans you can actually integrate them which means you just absorb them into your empire and then Imperial Holdings, you can build on your subjects, and subjects we'll get into later. So, Xeno, Xeno Exterminator, basically, uh, you can just destroy worlds, and you get, you start, you can start with a, an extermination fleet, if you want, that might help you out with the pirates, and other things that you might find. Okay, so, Extreme Isolationist, basically, you start with a colonist, you can destroy in, with a, if you select the origin, which we'll get into soon, uh, there's also the ability to destroy hyperlanes. So if a fleet is coming for you, then and you have enough time, you could destroy the hyperlane, isolating them completely, which is permanent. It's quite powerful. So that's a good ability too. And then we have. Last but not least, the silent state, which is basically fleets can become invisible, which will help you not get into some bad early encounters. If they, if you meet a, Z a Xeno exterminator, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but if you meet one of these guys, you don't want to meet these people, uh, not people, whatever, you don't want to meet them because... Um, basically, they will give you a hard time, I'll declare war on you, you don't want to be next to them. So this will counter them a bit. And also show where their positions are, like nearby empires basically, sure. So, which one should we go with for this demonstration? Uh, let's see... Mega Corporation uh, is probably one of my favourites, but... There are some powerful ones out there, so I don't want to have to be this one. I think I'm going to go with the, hmm, let's see all of them. Uh, so I'm going to go with the Mega Corporation, just to show you what everything does. Uh, so we have uh, some origins here. I think there's some screen tearing. I'm just going to turn that off. So, yeah. So we're picking uh, the Mega Core. It just got randomized again. So, basically, we'll go with... We choose our origin, and we can have an origin where we start with an ally, which is pretty good for what we're doing. So we're going to make things easy, we're going to go intermediate difficulty so I can show you what's going on. 
without being absolutely obliterated, which I usually get kind of destroyed in this game. Uh, honestly, we'll just pick a random icon, like uh, this one, I don't know. You can choose your avatar, so I'll just go with uh, this one. Wait, this one here, I don't know. Choose your Rocky uh, uh, Ward Preference. We'll, yeah, we'll go with Rocky Ward Preference, why not? Uh, choose your name. Um, uh, collective, I don't know what that means, it just sounds interesting. Uh, galaxy size, okay, so now we're going to set up the map, we set up our empire. Uh, it's probably better to not to go black colour, just because your border will be very difficult to see. Basically invisible, so if you want that, you can go for it, but there's a slight bug with the current layout that prevents you from seeing the border. So I'm just going to go with these colours. So galaxy size. Um, these ones are mostly untested, these huge ones may cause problems on some devices. I prefer these two, the bottom two options. Uh, small is probably better, but we'll, ti tiny is usually large enough, but we're going to go small for this one. Um, and difficulty intermediate duration, so... I, again, the same is true for this. I haven't tested these durations much at the end. But I have tested uh, these two the most, so I might go with 10 years just to demonstrate. This is very fast paced, by the way. So we can choose the pacing. Basically, with duration, things are faster. You can build faster, less resources with slower, du uh, faster duration and more basically the, the opposite for longer durations, everything costs more, takes longer. I would say that the speed, exploration, etc. is the same, but I like to go duration, um, 10 years, because that seems to be the fastest in most cases. Okay, time, these victories, so you may find that 10 years is not enough, so if you turn off time victory, then you can literally play with the fastest pace for however long you want. So if you reach in the time limit and you want more time, then you can always edit the save file and write and the remove time victory, I suppose. Which shouldn't be that hard anymore, um, but there's some other victories as well, which are interesting. Uh, we don't need to edit this. Mm, I think we're good to go for the most part. I think we'll re-enable time victory just for this, but yeah. So, hold on. So, as a mega cop, you're gonna start here. Okay, so, we, we're starting off now, uh, okay, so let's make some explorers, uh, I'm going to turn on the resources for this, and when we do that we can see that we have a good place to settle, so, first thing we want to do is build an explorer, we want to explore all of these systems, and because we chose the Stellar name marks uh, origin. Let's see. So here we chose this origin. We get this ally here. Now the problem with this origin is they're not very loyal. Like if we mess up their agendas, they literally ditch us. So we want to we want to stay friends with them, build trust. Uh, so what we could do is give them resources. And that will help, uh, monthly resources will help make them trust us more over time. It will help build trust. Another thing we can do before we even expand with the Mega Corporation is we're going to re uh, research a tech first. So, hold on. It's good to get a hub so we can collect system resources, but here we go. So, they have a fleet. I don't know what they're doing. 
Okay, there are some bugs, as you can see, like there's something uh, slightly off about this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's not perfect. There will be need to be bug fixes. That's been there for a while. But so we can buy this colony, buy rights to this colony. But we don't have enough gold. So let's start off strong with a. Um, an actual base of operations over here. We did form a partnership earlier, and a partnership allows us to do this. Uh, so which resource should we give away is the question. We start with a uh, certain amount. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we'll just give away some, honestly. Yeah, that will do. That's an okay trade. So now we can actually set up a business. And we can't interfere with this car in EQ because they're doing their own things and they can't interfere with ours. But we get our own like queue, which is a joint queue. So let's build some let's make some gold. Let's make loads of gold. Because we're we can. We're a mega corp. Let's do that. So hopefully they stay allied to us. That's the special ability of what we're using, the Mega Cult. Okay. Firstly, we're going to claim this system because it has a world. And that's what we want to expand to the most. We want worlds, mostly. And we need to build a colonist to do so. To colonize this world. Okay, so we did build another explorer, and that will help us explore more systems at once, which is always a good idea. But keep in mind that these ships will cost a lot of money um, over time, so don't have too many at the start of the game, unless you can afford it, pretty much. I'm going to save the game now, in case something goes wrong, but yeah. So if you press F5, it, it quick saves the game. So with a colony, we this is our capital colony. It starts with max buildings. We want to prepare it's gonna grow fast on this speed as you can see the population is zooming. And we already have unemployment here. So we're gonna want to build some things. I'm gonna start off with a a farm here. Okay. So we've explored. Oh, we got we got a a world here. So this is golden spice. Basically, it's is a special resource which we haven't unlocked. For some reason, V-Sync, there's a bug where V-Sync doesn't really apply across scenes, but I'll fix that soon. So we're just going to wait. We're just going to wait until the carness is done and move it over. Okay, I've written down to fix that. Uh, okay. So we're gonna eventually explore the system, it may take a while. So we're just exploring this, and then once it's explored, we can build a star base here. But we. Oh, something's happened. An asteroid appeared, so. What, what are we gonna do? Uh. I mean, what what are we gonna lose? What we don't have much to lose, so I'm just gonna ignore it. We have two buildings. I don't think we're gonna lose that one, but I might be wrong. Well, hopefully not. There's a small chance we'll lose two build uh, one building at least with that event. Okay, so our general strategy just applies to all empires. We basically want to beeline towards all the planets. Ignoring other things, 
pretty much that's what we're going to do. So once that's explored, which it has just explored, we can build a star base here. I'm probably going to increase the speed so we can get more done in a short amount of time. Um, I'm not sure what's going on there, but it's tr attempting to build it. So we have another Carney event. There's quite a lot going on. Uh, food would be pretty good because we need to stop our food from Carnies. So we can afford these Carnies, basically. So energy, we might be low on energy in the future. So we're going to go energy. And basically what that does is it's going to add... Let's go to our home planet by pressing H. It just adds that to our planet, basically. Okay. We have a problem here. This is a space squid, and sometimes they might be little tiny things like this, or not very threatening. But other times they could be a lot worse, so we want to avoid sending our explorers into their path. And they might roam into our systems, so be wary of that. Okay, so we've claimed this system now. I, the animation was slightly off, so I will have to fix that as well. But, yeah. Okay, so... Now with that out of the way, we've got another Carney event. This is not... Hold on, this is not a Carney event. This is a planet event from exploring. So we explored something, I think it was here. Cool. So there's actually quite a few interesting events that can occur. Okay, so by colonize, we have to put a colonist in a claim system. And it has to have a world, so we're just going to colonize now. Tech researched. Okay, so we've just researched a technology. Uh, so we got quite some good techs here. Um, we don't need, generally don't need docks. So frigates are really good when you get them because they give you an edge over anyone in a military situation. Okay, so... Uh, we stopped exploring that because of a uh, little disturbance here. Hold on, I've got something uh, to disable. That's some brake thing. Don't need brakes, so I'm currently recording. But, uh, yeah, these just camp in there, so we're just going to uh, explore all this. We've got better places to be. There is a chance that this squid could, like, move, and then we could probably go back there, but... It's also gonna kill other... Oh, I think... Did it just... Okay, I think this is a hidden system. Hold on, we just met someone. Ah, we met the pirates. That's not good for us. So, we don't... Okay, we met someone else at the start, but that's the ally. So what is our ally doing right now? It's, they seem to be building something right now. Okay, there's another asteroid, I believe. Huh? Have we... We must have just colonized that or something. I don't know. Okay. Um, we are currently colonizing that. Okay, so... There, oh, oh. We don't want these to approach. Okay, so we just found the... Oh. 
We just found the uh, the pirates that are coming towards us right now, or were deciding to do that, but now they're leaving. Uh, this is kind of a threat because they have two frigates. We're just researching them now. We might want to build them just to protect ourselves. Okay, uh, where's our... Okay, we're going to ex uh, expand over here. But we need to be careful of these pirates because they're quite dangerous. I didn't even realize that they were this close. I thought they were just over here and I was like, oh. But okay. Researched. Okay, so we've just researched a new technology, so um, we could go with science techs here. Uh, science buildings, increase our science, sure. Now, this is how we make a subject. In another colony, we can just make a, a new, basically a subject is just an ally of ourselves uh, that is that we just overlook basically we can also export things for gold so let's say we produce loads of a certain resource we could just export that for gold and that would be pretty good for us it seems that we're doing pretty well for resources so we could just make this a this is not the best colony I'm not gonna lie it's not that good um, it hasn't, it's not that big compared to our capital, so we could, uh, produce, I think we could just produce, um, some minerals, I suppose, yep, let's produce some of that, and then some food, so that they don't starve. So, always make sure that each carny has enough food, because currently, the global food reserves are not used for feeding colonists, they're just used for... Basically, they're just used for um, trading and other things and costs at the minute. So, we do not have enough housing here. So, we're just gonna build another... Build more housing, basically. Okay, it seems that pirate has two systems here, which is worth noting. Let's build some frigates now. Let's go into the ship builder. So we should have actually we should actually cancel this right now. So in the ship builder, basically we have our frigate preset. We can also customize the gunboat if we want, which is this is the first ship you unlock. So you can customize that if you want. It just has a random like layout at first. So generally the best weapons are, each weapon has different costs. So the best is a railgun. Seems to be the most damaging. Uh, which, this is a pretty good uh, ship. We can make new presets as well. So that just, we can go through all of them and make them a railgun here and that will auto save let's say we want to rename this preset we can go into call preset I don't know, it's not a very uh, good name but there we go, we can build these cool preset frigates now Okay, we're going to expand. We're doing badly in terms of expanding. Why well, I'm doing badly. So I'm too busy explaining. We're going to trade for some metals. Um, and we do have some special resources which are extremely valuable in trade. You want to trade them generally. You can also trade monthly resources if you would like. For other resources. Okay, uh, we're just going to get some metals so we can expand here, and then here.
Okay, it's a good job that these are still, uh, these people are still allied with us. See, we got good relations with them so far. We can form a union. Oh wait, we're a megacorp, we can form a union. But, we don't have enough, uh, enough currency yet. But it will give everyone 25% collection value, we can, we're basically allies. And all the bonuses of allies, etc. Okay, so with clans, basically... So clans are... There's two types of clans. There's peaceful clans and non-peaceful clans. And the way you tell between them is this is a peaceful clan. And basically... If we need to satisfy their agendas, so we don't, we must not be at war for that to be satisfied. You may notice the occasional lag spike, that's because there is some areas of improvement for optimization. But it's, it's not that bad right now, so yeah. So, peaceful clans are. Basically, we can... They're just buffer states. Pretty much. And, uh... Barbaric clans are just the pirates. They just attack you. If they find where you are with their explorers, they just attack you. So we've got a decent fleet going. Let's build more. Let's build a bigger fleet. They seem to... These guys seem to be expanding very... Dangerously. very quickly I should say so we need to be wary of that this is a normal empire you want to be careful they do tend to upgrade their star bases like this so they might be a challenge if you want to take over them they, they do that a lot actually they're probably doing it with this right now okay tech researched now, they're upgrading their star base. We can actually view what they're building, because we're allies with them. And we can we can build more. I forgot to build more. It's a good idea to do so, though. We can actually fill that with, with commerce exchanges. They are already making a lot of money, aren't they? 23 gold, that's actually huge. So they're doing quite well in terms of the uh, colony. Uh, we're only making three gold, which is funny. Okay. We need to always build things on our colonies to stay ahead. So we're going to focus on metals because we want to build fleets as much as possible basically it just auto saved again um okay so we can also build a science building it will greatly boost our science just having one building apparently there's a solar storm going on somewhere it's in our capital they just um they have effects on the system. I believe they have some minor effects. On movement, etc. Okay, so we're going to claim this before anyone else does. That's what we want to do. Not entirely sure what that was doing right there. And boom. This is what happens when it builds properly instead of in the star, but yeah. Okay, we're now we're gonna build a colonist to colonize that system. It's possible for the AI to clear out this system. You can see this is a fort, uh, and forts are pretty hard to deal with, so we need to build something to deal with that. So we can designate um, certain things. So what designation means is we can basically 
specializes star base. So in this case, we can collect all resources around. Let's let's do it with this. Let's make this a star hub. So we can go to the star base and make it a hub. It will cost 75 gold and take 120 days. Oh, sorry. So when that's done, that will collect uh, this system. And when we claim this, uh, this system as well. Okay, we need to stay ahead of the of everyone. We need to build things. One indication that you're not um, building things properly is um, basically these red indicators so we need we don't have enough jobs right now but we have enough housing to be fine for a bit and here we're not building enough there's not even that much room here we're actually gonna prepare a fleet to invade this barbaric system but we need to go to this system first be careful to avoid the barbarians and prevent them to attack your fleets so I need to be careful here not for them to attack me. Basically, I, we don't want to be attacked instantly. That would be pretty bad. So they're expanding there. We're not playing fast enough. Hold on. Cool. We just unlocked a... We're just unlocking a fort right now. And that will greatly help us. We're making a lot more gold, and eventually when this empire decides to has full jobs allocated, see they only have one investor allocated giving us six gold, it seems. Something like that. Um, yeah, so once we have enough... Once they have allocated all of their jobs into these, then we'll have a lot more room. We'll have a lot more money, basically. Also, it's worth noting that when we have a megacorp, when we have a business, uh, some resources are shared. You see that there's only one investor right now. Uh, that's allocated. We're actually sharing resources with the with the empire, basically. Okay, so we're just going to colonize this. We can automate this by pressing Q, and that will do some good stuff. Uh, we'll let them expand over here. We don't need to go there. Tech researched. Okay. See, we are playing pretty fast-paced right now. Uh, let's see how strong our fleet is. So it gives us a good indication of how good, how strong our... It just allows us to compare, like, military targets. So we're just going to attack this right now. We have enough strength. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so we can get loads of research. Maybe this is a bit unbalanced. So this is just going to auto-complete this tech, almost. So we're now attacking this system. <laughs> it is one hour before release, by the way. Like, almost an hour. And I'm recording this still. Probably not the best place to explore. Let's go down here and then automate. Our ally is doing pretty well. We can see that our ally is uh, has a strong military, but everything else is is not going well for them. Like their tech and their economy is slightly weak. We're gonna make this into a yeah. We're going to make this into a puppet, so we can have a buffer state here. Or, or a suzerain. 
or Suzerian or whatever you want to call it. Boom. Just for the demonstration, so this creates an ally system. So, they don't have any resources, by the way. But we can form relations with them, and we can build on their world now. Let's just... Hold on. Hold up. 150. We need more gold. We're not rich enough. Okay. Okay, that, that was weird. That was weird. Okay, cool. We just took over their system here. So we're now going to go to their capital. Um... So the railgun's a bit um, janky right now, like the turret. So it was a bit weird there, but we now have a, we now have now annexed a new um, star fort here. We can also colonize this, so let's do that soon. We need to explore this. I'm actually gonna uh, claim this system. Okay. We're just waiting here. Okay, so now we're gonna um, continue going through. Uh, we might have enough fleet strength for this, but I'm not 100% sure. Not too confident. Okay, well, we might need to polish uh, the animated combat a bit before release, because that was uh, interesting to watch. <laughs> Although we do have an hour, we might have to fix that uh, a bit, like today. But uh, I'm showing you the state of the game, how it is. Okay, so, cool. That was a memorable moment, but hopefully that shouldn't occur in the actual release. But I will get that fixed before releasing, don't worry. Uh, but yeah. So we need to build more, and we can now upgrade a building, so let's do that. We've just unlocked this upgrade previously. So we're just upgrading the capital building right now. We can do the same here, and basically, when we upgrade, it will allow us to upgrade these other buildings here. Um, lag spikes are a bit scary for me because uh, the game has recently uh, had a crashing bug where basically sometimes if you play for hours straight it just crashes but thankfully that hasn't happened uh, so far and we've just added a release uh, sorry a fix that should f uh, deal with that bug it was quite a difficult bug to deal with but hopefully it should be gone for the most part okay so we have heavy cruisers etc uh, but currently we're kind of, um, we got another, like, state going on here. We could make loads of subjects if we want. That's not a bad idea. We can also integrate our own allies, so when we make a subject, uh, when we make a subject, we can add them back to our empire if we wanted to. We should also automate our colonies because... It's a lot of work to manage them ourselves, and this will help them set up automatically. 
it will use resources, obviously, but that is just something to note. Okay, we're going to claim this. Uh, okay, so... Who's this? So, we can form a business partnership. If we want to expand into other areas of the galaxy, we can go for this system here. Uh, basically, we want to go for their colony. Uh, so, okay. Wait, hold on. Let's establish an embassy as well. Okay, for some reason we can't actually... Maybe someone's already there. Maybe they already have a business, I'm not sure. Someone set up a business in their ward. I don't know, honestly. Okay, so we have another, like, place that we could set up a business. They don't seem to be aggressive because they are a pacifist after all. Okay, so... Let's see... Researched. There are a lot of bugs to fix uh, throughout the next two weeks. There's no shortage of bugs, just to make you aware. Oh, that was a bit random. Who, where's the Ice Age? Quackyap, where the hell is that? Eh? I don't know where that is. <laughs> oh, it's on our capital. Oh dear. Okay, so we now have an Ice World, which isn't too good. There should have been uh, an event chain for that, I think. Okay. Uh, you, we're going to be quite busy Thank fixing books over the next two weeks, basically. That's quite a lot. We can also claim this new system. Now that our car needs are automatically handled for us, we could get some... We could get a whole lot of... Oh, we could actually form a union. That's what we were going to do. Cool, let's do that. And then we can choose the colours. So this is an economic union. Uh, economic bonuses, joint wars, and also defensive pact. So, cool. Apparently that kicks out our ally. Hmm. Okay, um... I think we should make it so that they join the alliance as well. That would be a better idea. So I will write that down as well. Okay, so... I think we should explore more systems. So this is halfway through the game. So I'm just going to go on faster speed. So it might be slightly laggy because we're zooming. So one thing about the mid game is we want to be prepared for a certain event. Go here. I'm not 100% sure why it left the alliance, but you know what? Can we declare war? Are we in a- Oh, we're in a truce. 
let's invite them to the union so that we don't suffer the consequences of accidentally leaving the, uh, them leaving the alliance. Hopefully they join. Okay, terraformation, we can also terraform soon. We are unlocking a lot of technologies pretty fast. Uh, so you can control the in-game time with these hotkeys, uh, which I was, I have been doing this entire time. So let's look at the leaderboard, see how we're doing in terms of everything. We are winning right now, uh, slightly actually. Uh, okay, so it combines all of our stats basically and gives us a result. Cool. Oh, I missed that. I'm not sure how I missed that. Okay, so we just got this event. Okay, so it just auto saves. There is a bit of lag before it auto saves. But this event basically gives us access to the galactic center, which we are going to want to do and you see that if you look at this system you will see something let's build laser fleets real quick let's build some star cruisers sure let's build a dock so we can more easily build fleets more quickly i mean apparently there's a barbaric clan here but i'm not 100 sure about that So this is not going to be the least uh, buggy experience, you will encounter lots of bugs, we've encountered quite a few bugs, but it should be playable to the end, that's the main thing. And currently it's the game's very fast paced. Another thing we just unlocked, This we're on the fastest paced mode, so that is something to note. So we have distort, which means we can just jump from, we can just jump drive to systems we just unlocked that so it's possible for us to do that to this system let me demonstrate that hold on it does when we do distort it does use a lot of shields so we need to be wary of that it does use your shields up Okay, so that noise is um, basically one of our uh, carnies or units. It's not no longer busy. Yeah, so we've run out of building space, so now we can export things if we wanted to. We have a lot going for us in terms of uh, in terms of resources here. So we can look how much gold we make. We're making fifty-two gold. Now, now that we've done that. So that's pretty good. Let's invite Liz to our union, Liz of uh, Empires. Sure. Okay, these have joined our union. So honestly, there should be a... A system here that... Um, it should tell us in the future, I might add it so it it tells us that they are join the union, I think that would be a lot better. We're just distorting, because distorting is a lot faster sometimes, it allows you to get to places that you wouldn't otherwise be able to go. Okay, so we're in this system, but we need to... We need to bring an explorer, otherwise we're not going to be be able to do anything there. So we're now in the galactic center here. That's worth noting. Uh, this is not the actual center for galaxy. So I'm actually going to cancel and move this fleet into the middle real quick. Hold on. Um, and then I'm going to go over here and queue a 
everything that goes here. So we're all going here. And we're going to prepare for the final boss battle. And then hopefully win the game. Tech researched. So there is no celestial squid. We're going to get onto that later. Not at the minute. We haven't got there yet, but we will get there. We have founded a new colony. Okay, we do want to continuously build. We just built a star dock. So we need to continue sending in loads of fleets everywhere. As many as possible. We don't have enough metals though, so we need to be we need to conserve our resources a bit. Ah, this frigate's... Oh, this is a light cruiser. Okay. We're going to send them there, and then distort them over here. So when we distort, we're just jump driving, basically. Okay, there is a limit to how far we can jump drive from, so we can't d do it from this actual area. Oh wait, we can. Okay. But we can't do it from this area. See, there's red, but we can do it from here. Maybe there should be an indicator on the map that tells us uh, how far you can jump drive, but I haven't got around to adding that yet. Okay, so we're all going to go in the middle. We're going to claim this system so it makes it easier for us to Tech claim the center of the galaxy, which is our objective, to win the ascension victory. Continue building fleets. You see that our energy is getting pretty bad now because we're uh, spending so many... We've got loads of... Uh, ships and we it needs we need our economy to support that which it doesn't really do so we are we did get an event uh, for global warming or cooling I'm not entirely sure global cooling yeah so that should allow us to heat things to prevent it from becoming an ice planet see our capital did become an ice planet Let's send everything down here. There we go. What what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Can you claim this? Oh, you haven't explored it yet? Okay, please explore. Thank you. So if we don't get to the boss battle, so we can win this multiple ways, because we're gonna reach the end game here. We can either Tech researched. We can win the end game event. Uh basically if you claim the center of the galaxy it, you basically win. So that's what we're attempting to do. Currently we're not healing because um we don't claim the system. We want to do that soon. So we continue to gather our fleets as much as possible really send everything in we do have a loser of gold actually we are very rich we should probably stop being rich we can actually trade for resources with someone real quick oh wow they have so much we're gonna send them all of our gold oh damn they're really that is that is such a bad deal honestly um oh wow we have so much we've collected so much golden spice which is really useful in our trade Oh wow, we, we're dealing with lots of resources here, that's going to help us build more fleets, which we will need. We have a pretty good um, f 
uh, navy going. We'll see. Okay, so you see that we have... Um, oh, this is the galactic center. Hold on. Hold on. I I'm dumb. This is the galactic center here. Okay. I guess... <laughs> Okay, we'll send everything down here. Apparently, I was... I didn't sleep that much last night. I'm sorry for that. I thought this was the galactic center, but no, this is... <laughs> okay, let's, let's not talk about it, let's see. We're still going to send fleets down there. We'll see if we complete... The, um, Deal with the galactic squid first, or the actual, um, or reach the end game here. I think we're gonna reach the end game here first, actually, but I'm not 100% sure. It's really not easy for us to um, to go to. Oh, we can just jump to these systems. Let's do that then. Let's just jump to unknown systems. That would be helpful for us. If we... Hold on. Wait, I didn't add that into the game. <laughs> that would have been too powerful. But you see here that uh, the celestial squid is here. This is where we want to be if we were to actually claim the galactic center but unfortunately i misjudged where the galactic center was because this map is huge and i'm used to playing on very small maps that that was i'm not very good at this game okay we need to automate this it would be a good idea Okay, so we're going to reach the end game here soon, and let's see if we're winning. We're going to go for the score victory, since I was dumb, and we're not... Okay, we're winning we have a the bit. Yeah, but I am playing on mid-difficulty, so we are doing okay. We have liberated a colony. We have liberated a colony. Okay. Okay, we're we're in a battle apparently. Uh oh, that's actually not good because we were using. Nope. Okay, apparently that's not working. Let's just send them all then. Uh, let's avenge this builder. Oh, we lost the builder. Well, that's not good. Yeah. yeah, we're not going to get to the middle in time. This is a quite a huge map, honestly. All things considered, this is a big map. Okay, we're reaching one hour before release, so I will need to be getting things fixed very soon. Uh, otherwise, bad things will happen. Um, okay, we're going to reach the end anyway, and then we'll finish, we'll wrap off this interesting game. Where our, the gameplay, uh, me, me playing the game uh, was not that clear, but I was just trying to show you, have a feel for the actual gameplay itself bit of every mechanic and the special abilities hopefully I succeeded in that whilst also highlighting that there are some bugs I think the turret the turret bug where it spams loads of times is pretty easy to fix 
we can get that fixed before release. But um, other things will have to be fixed like today, the next days, etc. But I'm pretty sure. Um, I do want to get them fixed, of course. But right now, you're just going to get a taste of how the experience is. Oh, we are bankrupt. <laughs> we built so many fleets and we didn't build enough energy buildings. We can also focus our colonies on energy if we wanted to, but the game's going to end very soon. Someone's going to win. And it's probably us. We're just going to win because we were not doing bad. We were building a quite a big military. We were mostly zooming in technology because we built some science buildings. Didn't quite get to the galactic center in time. And we also can't distort. That's a visual bug that we can't actually do there. But now we've won the game. So, yeah. So, hopefully that gives you a taste into the... Just a demo into the actual experience. Now, there are... It's not going to be the most stable experience. But you are going to be able to play this game in how it currently is, basically. There's a lot of different options to go with, and it's just going to become more stable over time. It's not perfect now, as you saw, but it will eventually get there, so hopefully that was insightful. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, and thank you for watching.